The following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Today on Relationship Status, we discuss break babies, dealing with the baby's father, my man Marcus Graham, what's a good guy? Is this really a whole phase? Can a woman change a man? Can fame change your relationship? And emotional terrorism. Stay tuned and join the crew next on Relationship Status. Relationship status. It's your girl Nick Cruz and my co-host CL Butler and your boy Yusef in the building. And today we're going to talk about celebrity relationships and affairs. So first, we're going to get into break babies. Break babies. Break yeah. babies. What's a break baby? What's considered well, a break baby? Well, what's a break first? Mm, so I don't have both breaks. people agree. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess when you agree to kind of take space. And, space. You know, I mean, you know. Give each other space and kind of. So is there like a contract and negotiation about space and rules, the regulations? It's a breakup, basically. So when you're broken up, it's not about space. We're broken up. Yeah, but some people are feel are like all breakups space. Yeah and no. So, okay, so it's like okay, so we're either taking a break. Or breaking up is that is two different things? Yeah. Or is it the same thing? Just said different ways. I believe. Well, taking a break, I believe, is just you kind of stepping back from your relationship to see if you really want it. Is this like a real thing? Yeah, it's a real thing. Because you, you're taking a break, you might not talk to each other. You for millennials a few days. or something else. <laughs> I don't. Either together I'm or we're apart. This is like, mil- sh- mil- yeah. but shouldn't it be? One. But shouldn't it be? And and I know we will get a little bit more deeper into it. But shouldn't it be? Instead of the break, just work through it. I think. What what is the what is the break truly accomplished? I think it. I I believe it causes more I issues because I think men view than, a breaks way differently than women. Of course, that's why we have break babies. Well, they oh, did have break babies with women. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but women so those that. women don't understand the break either. Well, because those other women are probably single women that met you when you felt like you were no, single. No, single, but you know, because we're talking about celebrities. What's the first celebrity we start with? Yeah. Um. Let's start with Dwayne Wayne. Dwayne Wade. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dwayne Wade had a break baby. Yep. I'm pretty sure the woman he had a baby with knew he the dated age. Gabrielle Union. Yeah. But they was on a break. No, no. If if women know this universal thing about breaks, mm-hmm. how come the, that woman didn't know? Yeah. Because he, he, I'm pretty because, sure he had to explain. You tell me you're on a break with your man. That means you're single. Yeah. To me. To me. So... But Gabrielle probably viewed it as we're just taking space. They're prob- they probably were still having dealings with each other. They just weren't in a relationship. Didn't like remove the titles. See, I think sometimes what happens with break babies and maybe Gabrielle and Dwayne mm-hmm. did not have this conversation. What are the in this break period? Mm-hmm. What is the parameters? Where can we go? Well, I, I and think where can we not go? Once you read a certain level of celebrity, you need a contract. Like what yeah. is what yeah. we can do? What is sustainable? Even regular people need it. Yeah. So we both know and the rules is, of the break. Yeah. Because if you're going out here with no rules, um, you know what a break happen. baby. And anything, anything can happen. Mm, well, I, I mean, like I, 
<laughs> what? <laughs> no, I, You're the presidential break a, expert. <laughs> I can't disagree, but I will say, um, as a woman, like whenever we take breaks, if y'all are still in communication with us, in our heads, like the title is just removed. But I, women I'm, came but up I, with. I don't think a man comes to a woman and says, "I need a break." I need a break. No, women most most likely came up ninety like, percent, like, hey. ninety to ninety five percent. You did the research. Like, hey. I can tell. <laughs> ninety to ninety five percent. Of, <laughs> hey, I need a break right now yeah. because, like, they probably was fussing, arguing, or certain things were probably well, being just break said, up. and they probably did break up and were like, "Hey, let's just stick to being friends right now." And some women have to realize when a man has options. Sometimes those options are exercised. So you or, go have unprotected sex with another woman. I, listen, I'm not. <laughs> don't know why he put it in there like that. Uh, but maybe with somebody he was already comfortable with, or they've been having sex before. Maybe that's why they were on a break. Maybe uh, if you caught me cheating, you all you asking me for is a break. I won. Yeah. To me, all I get is a break. Cool. You want to try to kill me? Nothing. Just a break. You just need some time to think. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool with that. I can go have a break, baby. Woo. Now I can go back to the same woman you didn't caught me with. Yeah. Now we got more time. Now, now well, we got more time. Well, sometimes you got to step back and let a person show you where they want to be. Um, but by you saying that you want to break, you're saying that you don't want to be here. But no, if you ask somebody like, "Hey, this situation hurt me. I don't know how to handle it, so I'm going to step back." And the first thing that person does is go sleep with a person that they just got caught cheating with. What sense does that make? No, I'm not that, saying it's going to happen. Well, the woman is the, the one negotiating this deal. If you yeah, negotiate you a bad her. deal. That's not negotiating a bad deal. That's just saying, okay, let me step back before I say or do something. Well, why don't you just break up with me? Yeah. It really is a breakup. Because, no, it's not a breakup. A break is a breakup. See, see, it is. It's a breakup. With limit, with no. limits. See, this I'll is say that. this is an attempt to control the situation and try to have what you want, also. And that, you can't have both. <sighs> and that, a la a break, baby. That and, and that's and I think that that's the prevalent part is the like you're saying, hey, look, I need a break. You didn't say we. We didn't have a discussion. Is a communication breakdown? What yeah, is yeah, it? Like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it is a conversation. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean that one party wants the break. The break is usually brought up by one party. It's usually yeah, not, it's usually not a double break. I don't look at you and you look at me and say, break. we need a break. Well, oh, sometimes, no. because especially if you What is that? Ditto? You all, Ditto? Yeah. <laughs> if the both of you have been arguing constantly and you just can't seem to get on the same page, sometimes it's mutual. Like, hey, let's just... Let's have some space. So if we got space, if we have space, I'm allowed to do what I want to do. Okay. And if I happen to have a baby while I'm not with you, okay, it just happens. A quick question. Okay. I like questions. If I'm married, mm-hmm. and we get separated, which is technically a break, you should not be sleeping with other people. Shouldn't even be dating other people. It's a break. Well, some some people feel like that's a, we, we we separated. It's a break. It's a break. We on a break. That's what some people. That's just me playing devil's advocate. But, that's what they but, but that's, that's the question. That's what comes down to communication. Just because we're on break or separated means you sleep with someone else. But you why already was probably doing that. But I mean, if you're what's the but? If you're legally separated from someone, what's legally separated? That's just something the law says you got to be split up a for year. a year to just because you can't get divorced right today. Yeah. All right. So you're legally separated. Hmm. And you go and you meet someone else. Why am I meeting people if I'm still married but separated? Well, separated because you don't want to be with that individual no more. So you just have to go. So why don't you go ahead and tell the person we're not getting back together. We're not going to work it out. All we're doing is buying time till we have a divorce. That's real simple to say. And that may be a conversation that's had. Because see, this gray area is so confusing for. I guess I would imagine it's worse in the celebrity world than Mm -hmm. it is for just. Maybe commoners, mm-hmm. but it's real simple to fix. It's a conversation. It's an agreement. It's a commitment to it. But you just telling me we on break. That's like letting a kid go in a candy, candy store. store. Just be like your head. Just say, oh, just get what you want. Well, okay. So if you're married and you're legally separated, you can't go sleep with other people. No. But if you're you in a relationship, even be people. I thought the you break was even, to get yourself but, together. But if you're in a relationship. And you want that separation for a while 
Then you break can't. up with me. It's, you know, it's, you're not going to leave me. Because some people, most people who go into legal separation are like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. We just have to go through this long okay, well, one year this, yeah, yeah, well, this, this, like We were talking a little bit off air, and uh-huh. um, there, there's two reasons why people go into a legal separation. One is we can't get divorced tomorrow, so we have to wait this mm-hmm. this this calendar year before we could do we could do that because there's no proof of adultery or whatever else. Mm-hmm. And okay. then there's okay, well, maybe before we get divorced, let's have a separation, and this way we can see if we still want to work it out within that separation time, which is a legal year, which is a, a calendar year. Mm-hmm. And then after that time, if we want to move forward with the divorce, then we move forward with the divorce. That's so what you're not supposed reasons. to. Do you have to agree not to see anybody during that whole year? No, I don't. I don't. I don't think you do because even in both instances, you should be taking the time to work on you. Or, but or that has to be explained because some people think it's a it's a wide right open today. Side. Well, I, if it's a marriage, I think that you can't. If you're in, a, let's say, a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever, mm-hmm. um, then I do believe there is a conversation that needs to be had during the break. It just has to be a conversation. And then whatever that conversation is, if, let's say, let's say the person says, hey, yeah, look, that means that you can go date whoever you want to date and I can date whoever I want to date. Let's say that's who, let's say that's what happens. Mm -hmm. Well, on the back end, we can't get upset. If that's the conversation you had up front. If that's the conversation we had up front. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay, so Gabrielle Union more than likely didn't put this out that you can't sleep with other people? Well, no. What We're she, just speculating because well, well, we don't know. Yeah, anything. we don't know the conversation they, up, they had. Well, they but ended up back together. It don't look like they had, they had the conversation, but they weren't married either. Well, well we we're talking about boyfriend and girlfriend. Talking about boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, they weren't married at the time that the break baby happened. No, but I'm saying they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, they were boyfriend and girlfriend. And but see, the reason they had a little break, and once that break was over, and the ba- and the baby didn't come out, they didn't know about the baby until like I think until they were engaged. No. When they find when everybody found out about the baby, I'll say that the next day they got engaged, or some yeah, soon cause, after. Because <laughs> Dwayne Wade is being held hostage by terrorists. Yeah, how? How? You already know I messed up. Now I have to marry you. I mean, who's to say that? No, no. She forced I, that. We're on the outside looking in. What does it look like? I don't know. Men just saying, "Oh, marry me." Hey, I mean, men give in. Men, men give in. Yeah, they have to give up sometimes. It's time to get married. Wave that white flag. Hey, you know what? You stalled me out. You got me. Wow. I just don't think men walk into marriage the same way women do. Like, ever since most women mm-hmm. were little girls, they dream of getting married True. and having mm-hmm. a family. That's what's put into us at an early age. Yes. That we're supposed to get older. We're taught to clean a house and take care of a family. Be a woman. Yeah. But well, I mean, that's most guys all. aren't saying, oh, boy, I can't wait to get married. Have no. a big wedding. Because y'all are taught to and play a the field. Fence. Play mm-hmm. a field. Explore your options. But that toxic masculin- mas- masculinity. masculinity is brought on by women. A woman will ask a little boy how many girlfriends you got. Yep. Yeah, definitely I agree. will. De- oh, See, it's I've programming. Y'all be time. programming us. And then when we get women, you hold it against us. When we get older. <laughs> yeah. You've been telling me my whole life I'm supposed to have. Why? I know oh, you're you, a heartbreaker. Yeah. But you, yeah, I, man, I, you're so I cute. always said that, though, though, that we treat men as, hey, women are supposed to be options to you. Like, you're not supposed to just settle for anything or settle down so soon. Like, explore your options. Go out there. Well, see Nick, what you want. You have to. Start a campaign with women to stop this propaganda. Y'all misleading us. The way Wade was misled. I tried and they misled. still do it. They still do. Sadly misled. <sighs> The Wayne Wade you know, didn't land on that woman. That around. woman landed on Wayne Wade. He didn't. Wayne Wade didn't want around. this. And, 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 he's and, the victim. Now, he is thing. not the victim. Uh, you made a point. You made a point last episode where you said that when someone breaks up, mm-hmm. that when a man breaks up with a one, one uh, there's a. Uh, Relationship ends. Mm-hmm. There are more women ready to get with that guy because they've seen him in the relationship. Yeah. Correct? So if that's just a regular dude, mm-hmm. imagine Dwayne Wade. Wow. Oh yeah, then I can only I'm, imagine. I, I'm on break. We're all ready. <laughs> yeah. We're all like what? They're I'm not together. On break. Wow. Be like, there tomorrow. <laughs> wow. The line that we don't even know that might just be the only one that got pregnant. But from like, don't nobody really from know. my research though she wasn't someone new. 
she was somebody ongoing like that he's been dealing with for a while. Well, I think she was a little new and a little well, ongoing because yeah. she has three kids with one of the Wayans brothers, one of the Wayans sons. Um, and I mean that's just very so she's fun, been but. involved with somebody else doing. The, I don't know the exact timeline, but but I know it was before Gabrielle. It was before her. Who what was? Oh, it could have been. The, yeah, the but that person was with somebody too. True. You mean three yeah. kids? I mean, they could have been both on a break with from oh, their every, relationships. Everybody breaking. Every yeah, break. okay. and they so, kind of got together and things may have happened. It's just electric boogaloo out here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's breaking. Okay. Well, yeah. I think I think we, this is not, I don't think this is a new thing. For him? Being on break, no period. Just, no. Oh, breaks, no, no. Breaks, period. No. I just amplify that. when you're a celebrity. And not only amplify when you're a celebrity, but I also think... Even before, like the internet and social media has gone mm-hmm. so berserk mm-hmm. that it's real easy to get, you know, for for information to be bestowed upon you. I e good the, and bad, yeah. I e the Carmelo Anthony yeah. situation, which yeah, I, I think was, is that next on our. Yeah, I was going to come up with that next um, because it said that Lala Lala doesn't accept the break baby, and Lala wrong for that. Why is she wrong for She's that? She's wrong for that. That's not her baby. Wait, 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 wait. I wouldn't say Lala's not wrong. Let me say that. Let me, let me retract that statement. Mm-hmm. Uh, she said that he doesn't accept it, but you also said that she doesn't allow Carmelo to acknowledge him either. No, I believe the acknowledgement no, is can't there. Stop that. Yeah, I believe the acknowledgement is there, but she doesn't want to. She like involved, want, she's not ready to accept it. No, I'm saying, but so she making, financially, the child is taken care of. But so why I don't is she think turning Carmelo, Carmelo into a life. liar? Why is she supporting a lie? She don't want to be lied to. I don't think it was a lie. I think financially, the, the well, little you can kind of live a lie. Care. You don't have to always tell it. You can live a lie. Well, you can just pretend something's not there. Financially, the child is taken care of. But financially, but financially it doesn't, it doesn't help Carmelo a child. is not there. A child needs nurturing way more than money. True. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. If she's my thing, my issue with that is, then if you can't deal with it, then be out. No, she no. was for some time. No, though. no, no, she wasn't. She was. She it, left him. Mm-hmm. She did leave him, but she didn't leave him. Yeah, this, yeah this she didn't saying. leave. She him. didn't leave him. But 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 when women find value in you, when you go have that break, baby, they're like, oh, oh. lord, <laughs> he might be out for real. So let me go back and get him. And that's not fair either. Yeah, Women are playing emotional inside, games with all these basketball and one players. other foot outside the door. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, she had one foot in and one foot out. Yeah, and then Lala went on this world tour of improving herself and taking pictures and yeah. doing her breasts. And That's all I'm about to say. And doing, a lot of doing, TV. doing a lot of stuff. Carmelo didn't co-sign. But Carmelo did say that when he's on the road, he's single. I didn't hear that man say that. Don't you sound like something Carmelo I, I, would say? I've been in the same that. room I've, as Carmelo I've, I've, before. I've never heard that. No, oh, here time. come he, the men. He wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that don't even. I don't even sound like that. Yeah, man. when he's on the road, but he, when he's home, he's married. Don't, don't no, ask no, him about no, what he does. I gotta get the audio clip. I gotta make sure. I gotta check that out. I don't think so. But matter of fact, he was just seen, I think, on a boat with another woman. Oh, that was a business. That was yeah. sure. Oh, ooh, see how men take over each other so quickly? He was on a boat with. You can't be on a boat with a woman. Ever in life, the Another Jordan woman. brand French Connection tour, or whatever they was doing, was uh-huh. over there. It was over there, and sometimes people on a boat together. Where were the other it's people? It's rich people lifestyle. It's luxurious. All right, so where were the other people? Could have been below deck. Could have been below deck, and those could. You know what? The other guys went down to get drinks, and Carmelo was out there minding his business. See how men are probably working on his freestyle or something. You know? Yeah. Carmelo was working on his freestyle? Yeah, because he basketball might be over. I don't know. He yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got a freestyle in him. And, that man and somebody took seats. pictures. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean nobody was... A, it, was it was a captain. Who's driving the boat? Carmelo? Everybody know Carmelo don't have a boat license. Everybody know that. True. Most NBA players don't have a regular driver's license. Well, do you stay after a break, baby? If you're a terrorist, emotional terrorist, you will. Women, yeah. I mean, could men, if... Oh, no. You have to no break, baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if y'all were on a break and she got pregnant. No. Could, well, the reason why I wouldn't accept it mm-hmm. is because I would never tell somebody, let's be on break. Oh, what if you actually broke up with someone? I broke up with you and you, and you and have, have a baby? It's over from there? Y'all can't No, but you're coming back, back to the, you're coming back to the negotiating table differently now. 
Mm-hmm. So I might could I might very well could deal with you having a child. Mm-hmm. I might very well could deal with you having a child, but now I have to accept it back into my life. Yeah, mm, probably not. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm. Yeah, that's up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <I'm old. laughs> Wow. Because I was accustomed to something, and now you're bringing an addition to. Now, it isn't just a child. A child has nothing to do with it. There's a responsibility that comes from the baby father. True. Now, I have to incorporate that into my life and mm-hmm. inconvenience myself. I don't I don't need on it. Like, that's like, well, for me, that's like dating someone um, that has a child on the way. <clears throat> You would date somebody who got a child no, on the I mean, way? I've never done it, but I do know people in relationships that, you know, oh, you just met this guy and he has a newborn baby or a baby on the way that's coming. Is that not a red flag? I mean, it takes, well, this is what I heard. It takes nine months for a baby to be born. Okay. So, I mean, things can happen. It what does it have to do together. with... Like, why aren't you with the person you having this baby with? Maybe it didn't work out. Maybe it was a one night stand. Maybe things happen. Hmm, babies break people up. I know that. Yeah. Because that could be. A, I mean, that you know, happens. if you're going through a break and you know you're sad over your breakup and or over this person not talking to you. Can't at you the just moment. read your Bible? Talk to Jesus. Don't talk to another dude. Talk to the Lord. No, I'm not talking about with women. It could be with men too. I'm talking about women. And now you're out. You're at the bar. You're drinking, and the next thing you know, because you're not woman. prayed up. That's the problem. You ain't praying. You out here drinking. And once you get drinking, your legs get looser. You don't have Uh-oh. as much control. <laughs> That's what I heard. I don't know. I don't drink, so I, I have full control of my legs. The legs get loosey goosey. Get loose. <laughs> All right. So what if? What if the Guy had a whole nother relationship during your break. Or she had a whole other relationship during your break. No baby. No, uh, a baby, but it was a whole relationship. It wasn't no, just a no, break. A whole relationship. A whole relationship. The only relationship, relationship. only successful relationship you can have is with me. Like, you know, it wasn't working out. Y'all broke up for a time. And, nah. you know, she went her way. This you ain't, went your this ain't way. tennis. We're not going back and forth. At all, it. it's dangerous. It's too dangerous. I'm gonna, and hey. what if she, what if her baby daddy crazy and he beating you <laughs> and he can beat you up? <laughs> <laughs> nah, somebody got to shoot him. <laughs> no, it's too much. Dear God. No, no, I'm not doing. It's too much. But with Eddie Murphy and Mel B, mm-hmm. she actually had to prove her relationship with him. You should. And prove the relationship. If you want to tell people about it, prove I was there. Yeah. But, no, but like you could have just she kept got that pregnant. on the low. She got pregnant. She had the baby, and after she had the baby, was she he married? Disowned. No. Okay. He was That's the Spice in a Girls, relationship. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He ended up in a relationship, leaving her high and dry. High and, and dry. Yeah. High she and was dry. sitting on money. Yeah, but he didn't want to. He, he didn't want to own up to his responsibility. Well, first of all, we don't know the complete nature of their relationship, and we, Mel B she, could be a little, you know. She had to fast. prove it that they were in a relationship. How did she prove they was in a relationship? Oh, you can she, prove that's my child, but that don't mean we're in a relationship. No, he disowned the child too. How did you prove you were in a relationship with me? You took a picture. Yeah, well, no, not taking pictures. She went into emails, text messages. Yeah, email what? Like, Eddie Murphy not out here emailing women. Hey, this is a while ago. That's Marcus Graham, baby. You want to do that? Oh, God. <laughs> that. Not You're Marcus. Not no, not you, Marcus. No. There's no way Eddie did that. Yes, Eddie did that. Too smooth for that, man. So you think Eddie did it? Yeah, I think Eddie So it is his child. It is his child. came out to be his child. Well, maybe he was... Eddie might have did it. Eddie, Eddie might. It. You think Eddie might have done it? Yeah, Eddie, Eddie did it. Eddie like a wild boy. I don't, I don't know if I want to. I can't believe Eddie did it. And it's proof that that's his child. Mm-hmm. So he has like eight children? No, he got ten now. Ten? Okay. He got and ten. And that was a little ten? girl. And that was a little girl. Mm-hmm. And at the time. But why I is Mel B, the, Mel B the victim? Because like she was like she didn't know about any other relationship. He wasn't supposed that's to be in a Eddie relationship. Eddie Murphy. But he wasn't in a relationship 
with anyone at that time. And then he went and got with um, That's Eddie Murphy. Oh, I'm I always can't he's, all, Eddie's name. always in a relationship. Yeah. Eddie, it. it was with um baby faces. Um, ex-wife Come on I can't remember her name Tracy Edmonds Yeah Tracy You know what I'm saying <laughs> Full of her. random Random facts I got all types of facts on that Apparently Yes <laughs> Yes Well I mean hey. I mean I, I just don't Well why do women keep giving Quote unquote Not good men Not saying they're not good fathers But maybe not good men Or not good boyfriends Chance over and over And over again Love it's not love. love. You don't even know me. Well, no, you no, You just no. might love how I look or how I make <laughs> you feel when we're together, but you don't love me. Well, everybody, well, how women if, are taught that women everybody just, gets a second chance. I, okay. We're on our first chance. And yeah. you just saw, you saw me be a bad boyfriend mm-hmm. for years and years and years. And then you go go with me. Here I am thinking I'm a good guy. Now because I'm confused. They feel like they're going to change you. Oh, I can make him different. I'm, I, my standards are higher, so he's not going to do me like so that. The, so I've had 27 girlfriends, and it's all them? It's not me. It's, it's not. none. But when the common denominator <laughs> is the guy? Uh, sometimes, think, sometimes you got to look at yourself. I think y'all women have to get together and... Redo the handbook? Yeah, the, the, you know. <laughs> the BDR report. Hey. The BDR report? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just... I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. I'm just saying, but if people keep giving me chances, I must think I'm okay. And maybe I'm really not okay. You're not. not, I've said that before, that as women, we are the reason why men are the way they are. Uh, We give them. You're not fully responsible. No. But, Nick, didn't you have, you had a post on something like this. Must have been like yesterday or the day before yesterday. Mm-hmm. Good guys. You are here posting something yeah. about good. Hold on, I'm a oh yeah, I, I know because I say it every year. What What did you say? What did you? What was it? Exactly? I just want the good guy. That's actually the good guy. What? What? All these something about guys in your inbox. Oh something. yeah, because after I wrote that, I have all these guys that come. Well, you don't give me attention. You know, I be trying to be. You know, I'm trying to take you out. This, that, and the other, but. Just because you think you're a good guy doesn't mean that you're a good guy to me or that you show me that you're a good guy. Well, what's a good guy? Yeah, that's the thing. And it's, it's different it's, for every woman, though. That's because a man actually came to me and was like, well, y'all overlook us. No, it's not that women overlook you. You're just not their type. What does that mean? Like everybody has a preference. No, I ain't got what if type. you everybody type? What if you everybody type? Yeah, I'm everybody type. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just because you're interested in someone I'm Doesn't excited. make them obligated that was, that was, to be That was another post she had Yeah, she, interested she, she's in you dropping posts. She's that, dropping okay, posts. What was the post? Yeah, Just because you're interested in someone It does not make them obligated To be interested in you Well you have to allow women to choose you And then you take it from there Yeah, You can't just be running up unless you just Like I'm a good guy, date me No First of all that's whack Hey, yeah. you'll be shocked how many men do it. <laughs> I'm a good guy. What? I'm a good Wait, guy. Well, I try to Women would I'm love the, to be with me. Why I'm don't the man you? That your mama warned you about. <laughs> you better be careful. Please be careful. <laughs> See, I be running. Please. I'm a silver guy. Yeah, be, be careful now. <laughs> wow. So, so good guys don't finish last? No. Or they do finish good, last? No, good guys don't finish last. Good guys are just not as good. Some good guys, I'll put like that, that think they're good. Aren't always good as they think they are. Okay, so bring it back full circle. Okay, mm-hmm. Dwayne Wade, good guy. He a good basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> Questionable hair and fashion taste. But. What? <laughs> I'm just saying, good guy. You know, in the situation that he's with, with he, which he is in, good guy. He got a good shot. No, I'm just. <laughs> don't think he's a good is. guy. Because uh, the break, baby, I'm pretty certain he could have done what he needed to do to make but sure. But you know, that he may have. That was years. Out. That was years ago. So maybe he has grown into that good guy. Okay. But Gabrielle Union wouldn't even let that man break up with her. She went. You know, you got to marry me now, and I get on TV and tell people you're gonna marry me. But how you know that happened? I seen it in his eyes. I seen the anguish. Yeah. He's, he's, I looked. At, I slowed it down and watched the film. I saw shadows in the background. And he was, paused, paused it at one look and just. That's why he wearing short shorts. Well, and main purses now? Yeah, because Gabrielle Union. She's dressing them. Yeah. Oh, and see, that's God. what happens. When they take you back and forgive you, 
Then they set up a whole different regimen of things you're not willing to do, but you're mm-hmm. doing it for the love of your lady. Doing it for the love. Well, Dwayne Wade don't want to dress like that. He don't. <laughs> he, so why he, he had, does? He hadn't been doing it. Now all of a sudden he with Gabrielle Union. He's dressing all <laughs> super metrosexual. <laughs> super metrosexual. Super. Yeah, he he out there, but oh. <laughs> yeah, he, he way out there. Like he, yeah, he's out there. Yeah. On that note, we're gonna go ahead and get into this commercial break. Uh, we'll be back in a few after these words from the Defy Life Podcast Network. Podcast with Simba sparking positive change in the community, having real conversations and therapy. And you know the laughter's the best remedy. Got that heavy dose of humor for your hearts to heal. With mental health, it can't get any more real, yeah. Best Medicine Podcast. Laugh, love, learn. Best Medicine Podcast. Best Med Pod. It's your man Simba Roar back in this thing thing one more time, bruh. Come get your weekly diagnosis Thursday at midnight. Only on the Defy Life Podcast Network. Check us out, though. And we are back. And we're going to go into affairs. Affairs. Yeah, affairs. Um, I wanted to get y'all opinion on Kwa and Dr. Gray. Okay, who's that? And just to give y'all a background. Okay, because I was about to um, ask. <laughs> they're from a show on Bravo called Married to Medicine. Mm-hmm. And, mm, and I've been watching... Uh-huh. Hmm? From from the beginning of the the first season, you said I have, I have. Oh, okay, because I've never seen that show. <laughs> I've, I've seen that episode or two, but yeah, yeah. I, I've been watching from the beginning. I always had my opinion about when I was two. being held hostage. Oh also. my god! Not on my own world. <laughs> you're out now. You're, you're, you're. No, you're, no, no. We're always under the war. It's always, always, always war. war. Oh wow! Always the orange flag up. Always. <laughs> always I, the I orange flag. High terrorist threats. So, I can show you a text message right now that I just got. No, no. <laughs> See, you being attacked. You being, being attacked attack from within attack right now. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead. Nick. I don't hold anybody quad. hostage. <laughs> but yeah, with um with Quad and Doctor Greg from the very beginning, um. They're for one. They're they're young. Mm-hmm. They're young. I think at the first season they were newlyweds. Oh, young, young as in age. Young, or young as in age. well, to young and married and as an age to me because they're around my age okay. in their thirties. Okay, um, early thirties, I believe. Um, well, she is. Okay, and she wanted to build her brand. She wanted to make her own money, and he's a doctor. And, you know, he basically pays for everything and takes care of her. But she wanted to build herself her own brand. And she didn't want to have kids. She told him this prior to marriage? I don't I don't believe so. Oh, then she a lot. Yeah. yeah. She have her I don't believe her. so. But now it's like, you know, she wants to. She loves the fact that they're married. She loves him. But she doesn't. She kept saying, like, I'm not ready to have kids. I'm not ready to have kids. All right, so we're like I think five six years down the line, they still don't have kids, mm-hmm. and their sex life started to go down, and they separated. They separated because they didn't because she didn't want to have kids or an affair. I think or? it was just more to it. Like she okay. wanted to, he wanted her to be at home and you know spend time with them and do things and this that. And she's like, no, I got to build my brand. And she didn't tell this man this prior to. Mm-mm. This is something new since they've been on the show. Oh, new. Yeah, and then he the turns show, around and ain't no cheats. Going, there ain't no going back. He cheated? Yeah, he cheated on her. Hold a second. How did he cheat? He was seen out with another woman. There's, no one has proved that he actually slept with another woman. But he was seen So he could have been woman. consulting a friend? Yep. That's what he was doing? I don't know. About no one knows. what's going on? I wouldn't personally advise it, but. Hey. <laughs> so where's the dilemma? Is he wrong? Is he wrong for what? Seeing for another the, woman? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong. I agree. I I don't think I can. Just because she did something or went back on what she said she was going to do, it doesn't mm-hmm. give you leeway to go date another I person. I don't think. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think it. 
it gave him leadway, but I think it did push him in that direction. Nothing pushes you in your directions but a choice. Because, like I said, it is. I don't know if there's any proof that he actually physically slept with someone. Well, let's just say or, what we what we know, because we yeah, don't really, you I, never I really know that. about any of these stories. But I do know that he was seen with an, another woman, and now she says, like you know, he's cheated on her, et cetera, et cetera. But you know, they haven't showed us any proof. But I do feel like just watching it from beginning to end. The way she talks to him, she don't talk to him with any respect in front of anybody. Um, she made it clear after marriage, like, no, nah, I'm not having no kids right now. No, I'm not going to sit at home and wash dishes and cook you meals well, and anything like that. Like, I'm not going to do that right but this now. This isn't this isn't a choice. I don't personally know Cora. No, I don't either. Um, but this isn't a choice she came to on her own. This man has been negligent. I don't know in what areas. But I think most women who get married mm-hmm. want to be married. There's a rare case that they may not. But once you start letting a woman down so much and repeatedly, the amount of money you have, the amount of fame you have, she still wants that person at home but that she can believe in and trust. And once a woman doesn't trust you and value you, and all, oh, it's a wrap. she comes up with all But they were newlyweds things. when they no. first got on the show. And she's always, it's not like no, something no. she turned into. No, no. She she did turn into it, I believe. Or he accepted her bad behavior. That's what and I And he believe. shouldn't accept her bad behavior if he wasn't ready to manage her bad behavior. And I'll say this from a male's perspective. Mm-hmm. You have to manage your relationship. Just like women have to manage certain aspects of a relationship. Mm-hmm. So when a woman can come in and run a, a, a woman wants to date you, not babysit you. Or not mm-hmm. tell you how to be a man. You're supposed to know when it's time to be a little more forceful and not be forceful. So that comes with a unique balance. And they don't have a balance there at all. She's all right. probably been running over him from day one. I don't think she runs over him. Well, you said she I, talks to him yeah, any kind of way. Yeah, she talks to him any kind of way. And, over and, they go, and they go back and forth, though. I ain't going back and forth on my woman. I'm going to say, look, this is what it is, and this is what it's going to be. And, and then I don't, you know, like I said, we don't know these people. In certain only, situations. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I can't say I know them or anything like that, but from season one to now, she has changed. Changed into what? You said she didn't change. No, 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 no. Like, changing how she, even how she talks to the other women on the show. But that, well, I, let, I don't let, think... let me finish. Let me finish. So, from her, because she would... Defend her husband in front of all these women. But she was lying when she was doing it before. Hey, I'm just... I'm telling you, she was lying. There's been an imbalance there probably from the beginning. She's... She has... I don't think there's any woman who purposely wants to just disrespect the man she's married to or dating. But if he allows it, it will go too far. And it, and it will get to that point, but it, like almost of no return. Of, of no return? Yeah. Women will do stuff with no callous regard for human life or anything around mm-hmm. them. Like, I'm mad, so it's all F wrong. this, we're going to turn over everything. Everything. And, see, but then... You we'll had, set the whole house on fire. Yeah, you said something. You said that they got on the show as newlyweds. That's mm-hmm. right. Very dangerous. They, that's the point I, I was going to come up with. Because I think it was like within the with. first two years yeah, of because, their marriage. Okay, so okay. now you mean before now, the, before this show, mm-hmm. you haven't been interested in your brand. So now all of a sudden you're interested in, in your, your brand. brand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what like I mean? things started changing. Yeah, because of because she's on this show, which gives her a voice mm-hmm. outside of her home, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, but in saying all of that, she could change all day. But one, he still has to do his job as her husband to make sure that he is guiding the relationship. You have to. You have he, has to, to be, he, has to, he has to be guiding this ship in a particular direction. So if we on the show and she's showing out and I done seen it, hey, hold on now, hon. We need to, me and you need to talk. We ain't going to be doing this on TV. This part of that we're not going to do on TV. You know. And this show, is is it the women that are featured? Both men and women. The men, at, at court, yeah, you, you've seen it. I've seen More it. I know all the premises. Uh, was it designed? Because it's women of medicine? What is it? Married to medicine. Mar- married to medicine. So you have to be married to a doctor. Yeah, or be a doctor. Or be a married. doctor. Mar- yeah, it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because um, it goes into the different relationships. So who's more the of the star on this show? Her? I think she's more of the star than him in this case. Well, yeah, because more people know her. Well, you watch. Who's yeah. the star? 
Would you watch for Dr. Greg or do you watch for her or do you watch for the both of them equally? Equally. Okay. Because like it's it's you know what each it talks about each marriage. Nick won't give us a direction. <laughs> I'm gonna say she's the episodes I star that she was like the boss or whatever she wanted to be. But I think it's just her personality. She's it's just not, it's I don't not think, just your personality. It's no such thing. She would have okay. been like that since she was this little. Yeah. Now fame can make people change, and, and that's what I'm saying. That's why I think the show has affected. Well, not change it personified yes, yeah. what was already there. Mm-hmm. There you go, amplified. Yeah, amplified. Yeah, okay. amplified what was already there. Yeah, and give and it, like I said, it gives a voice to the voiceless. That's so right. To speak. So I mean, normally would she be in front of these cameras? Probably not. No. So she might carry herself a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. But if your child throws tantrums at home, mm-hmm. yeah. What do you think gonna happen when you get in public? If you don't listen at the house, what do you think gonna happen when you get yeah. to the mall? Yeah. You're not gonna listen there either. It's gonna be a problem there too. So they're gonna have to either reel in their relationship, and he's gonna have to but, come up with some strong boundaries. Yeah, and to answer the question, yeah, he's wrong. Oh, he's um, absolutely. Oh, I mean, wrong. I'm not gonna I, say he's I, not wrong. For well, it's actually a punk move because you let yeah. her dictate what you what do. What you now. do? Yeah, like you so you so this and that rather than yeah. controlling controlling and managing your marriage, you go out and just do. Do something else You know what I'm saying And no matter what she's done If she decides to say Hey I'm out She, she gets everything from you Because you did Well yeah. we don't know That he physically Cheated Yeah Cheated But being on a date Or pursuing sub, Being out well, with someone else We don't even know If it's a date She yeah. just see, She's seen with her own eyes Well they didn't show that someone. Just to say Oh he's talking to his friend yeah. They didn't yeah. show it She just said it Okay There's but, no Like no one else has seen well, so there no. was no video of said no of said encounter. It's her going to a club, so you know by herself, and she happened to see him with another woman. And the cameras was there. Stop it! I don't think the cameras were there. No, she, I think she's just recalling. Yeah. She's you're, she was uh, recalling the story to somebody else. Yeah, basically. So that brings us to I guess uh, uh, one of our la- latter topics. Mm-hmm. Can. Can something that's an innocent friendship be misconceived? Yeah, it can be misconstrued. Misconstrued. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, something yeah. friendly. Something friendly. So, yeah. Dwayne yeah, Wade, but, Star Jones? Um, yeah. No yeah, because I always thought they were in a relationship at some point. I just don't understand why you would be in a relationship with Star Jones, even though she was a big star. <laughs> oh, then. my God. No, no, I'm just saying, if, yeah. if I'm a... If I'm a and at this time when they dated, Dwayne Wade was one of the prominent players yeah, in the league. Yeah, he was. And she was at the height of her success when she had her own show and all this other she, stuff. What own show she had? She was on a view. That ain't her show. That uh, was a show she shared with five other well, women. Well, she's a co-host. And like, and no, she left after that. Well, she was gone. Yeah, I, she had left. But she was on. Star Jones had her own individual show at one point. Oh, I'm so young. Yes. yes I know, <laughs> I'm so young. I, I, I know you're the Beyonce of, you know. Relationship status. Uh, me and yourself are part of the show too. So yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, you know, know. we just we, we just here. Yeah, yeah we just here. Just, <laughs> just, just, well, I all right, Kelly. Man, I, no, I'll be Kelly. I'm not being Michelle. You Michelle. Oh my yeah. god! First off, I'm yeah, not going to be you throw anybody him on named the Michelle. Yeah, yeah. I'm not being Michelle. <laughs> I'm not going to be anybody called Michelle. Okay, okay. that's what's just not going to happen. I Mike out. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Lowry. Mike Lowry. Yeah. Um. But Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade out here has been being reckless, man. Real reckless. Oh, no, no, no. He was young. That was, was his younger years. He, but she might have been kind of talking to him. Or Cougarish? Maybe, yeah, maybe they have a, a mutual bond, but I... Or maybe giving him advice. Or advice. Because from an older, more experienced person and I think, perspective. And I also think he was a rebound. At the time, because she was going through Whoa, 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 whoa. But, but they wasn't dating, denied, so it's not a rebound. denied this. So it was yeah. not a rebound. But I mean, well, well, we don't know. They denied, but they're seen on beaches together. Well, I'm gonna tell, going I'm gonna tell on you dates what ha- together. I'm going to tell you what happened. We don't know if it's a date. Two people eating is not a date. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to tell you what happened. It benefits Star Jones to be seen with, with Dwayne, Dwayne Wade, Wade. Mm-hmm. way more than Dwayne Wade being That's seen That's what I'm Star saying. Jones. They'll be like, is that your mom? Mm. Your auntie? <laughs> now, and I've heard of things like that where they do publicity stunts. They do. And look to go they out do. And like Wendy Williams? Somewhere. Yeah, what, she's what, with a young She's with a 24 year old Oh yeah she kissed Old boy the other night Who mm-hmm. was that Wendy, Wendy Williams, Williams Kissed uh, 
Oh, oh she kissed somebody? Yeah, she kissed. Uh, I know she was seen with. She was at Rick Ross's. Oh, she was I somebody did famous? Hear about that. Yeah, she was. Oh, at, now, I didn't get in here to spill the tea, guys. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm just saying she okay, was at Rick Ross's. You dove into this. Yeah. Wow. No, no, no. no, 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 no I think it was all over the internet, though. I, I didn't internet. hear about it. Um, But she was at Rick Ross's. Um, Was it like an album release? Meek Mill. Meek Mill, okay. Yeah. She, she kissed Meek Mill. She did. She kissed Meek Mill at Rick Ross. That's a publicity stunt. No, I'm not saying. Uh, did, that, I, didn't I bring that up after Why that would point? Why kiss on the lips? Yeah, he kissed her. Oh, yeah. That, they're both acting. <laughs> but I wouldn't kiss me. You wild, man. Hey. Uh, hey, listen. Hey, you gotta uh, do what Williams you gotta do in these worlds. Kisses Meek Mill and sparks romance rumors while partying with Rick Ross. Oh, okay, question. Which is worse? Kissing Nicki Minaj or Wendy Williams? Oh, well, the age difference. I kissing, don't know the age difference. Kissing Nicki kissing. Minaj or kissing Wendy Williams? Which is worse? Which is worse? Yeah. I'm going to let y'all decide that. <laughs> you think it's okay? Kissing Wendy, Wendy Williams is it's worse? Yeah, that's what I would say. Okay. Why is it bad? Because he's discriminating against her age. I'm not discriminating against her age. I just want to reveal who he really was. I'm always always throwing you under the bus. (laughs) Listen, I'm discriminating against her Adam's apple and her deep voice. That's what I'm discriminating against. She doesn't have an Adam's (laughs) apple. That's what I'm discriminating against. Wendy Williams is my best friend in my head. Yo, it's like talking to CL. Like talking to her would be like talking to CL. Nah, nah, (laughs) nah. That voice is That's got to be like for publicity for her. Yeah. Because she's out here. But Wasn't she dating a younger guy? Yeah, the 24-year-old guy. Yeah, she was dating him, but they're... According to what I read, they're no longer oh, dating. But I think not. he was just something she wanted to be seen with. Well, since I, you know her husband got caught cheating, having a well, break, or well, having not, a baby on her. Yeah, but I brought that up to say, like I've known of publicity stunts, and I I was saying that yeah, I, bringing that up to say, I think she did I it for that, shock value. Yeah, mm-hmm. for shock value but, to put her at the top of Google search. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. But sometimes, <laughs> well, what women don't understand is the same light a man is being seen in. It hurts a woman yeah. versus that. Like, she doesn't need to be pictured with all these guys. She don't. Because and it's, it's seen, it, Well, maybe she's trying to have a hot girl summer. She can try, but if you take, take, the, past her. If you take the tea off hot, <laughs> it's, it's a different kind of summer. Yeah. <laughs> Replace the tea with an E. Yeah. 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 You got a whole yeah, different summer. summer. Yeah, a whole summer. A whole, summer. That's a whole different a whole summer. summer. A hot girl summer doesn't give you license to just a whole girl be, summer. be hoeing around. Like, yeah. It's just not a good look. And Wendy's a woman of a certain age. Yeah, she and is. And an amount of prominence. But she's, she can't been with, do that. she's been with the same man for over 20 years. No, so. first of all, first of all, I going mean, back to another episode, if I've been dating you 20 years and you've been cheating for 19, we've only been together a year. So <laughs> we've been said, together. Oh. We have not been together if you've been cheating all this while. Oh, Jesus. This ain't was cheating like 10, there. 15 years. She's just getting back out there. No, they haven't had a healthy relationship for a long time. Boy, I'm going to post that. Yeah. <laughs> Some people think they out there having a hot girl summer nah. when they t- yeah. take the T and replace the E. Yeah. You having a whole girl summer? Yeah, man. That's, that's <laughs> all you doing. A whole girl summer. Yeah, and I think that comes in the gender roles. And, and, and. But I think um, as women, I think that's what we think we have to do when we get out of, especially a, a bad relationship mm-hmm. or a bad marriage. We feel like in order to get over that or kind of get ourselves back out there, we have to do another whole phase. Well, I, I, a whole phase. What's a okay? What exactly is a whole phase in your point? Because I have a different version of what whole phase is. Um. Okay. Yeah. So let's. Yeah, I would like to know the difference. The <laughs> okay. Two, you want to go first? Yeah, I go. I can go first. Okay. okay. Um. I believe when we talk about a whole phase is when we are because a lot of women don't believe in dating multiple men. So when we're out there dating multiple men, being seen out with multiple men, we look at that as our whole phase. Okay. It doesn't always mean sleeping around. Well, I thought whole phase was more about having the license and the freedom to sleep with whoever you want in regards to the relationship. It doesn't mm-hmm. necessarily mean you slept with 20 dudes. You could sleep yeah. with one dude and that being your whole phase. A whole phase doesn't have have to be about quantity. It's just a freedom to do whatever you want to do. For a woman, a whole phase is the amount of men. I thought if you slept with a lot of men, you wasn't even a hoe. So no, which because is it? we we don't bring it to. But which is it? We don't bring it to sleeping with a lot of men. But you, you just, just be sleeping with a, with a lot of men. 
No, I didn't. I said dating a lot of men. So, like, if I'm just getting out of this relationship, Mm -hmm. all right, I'm about to get, you know, maybe three other guys I'm about to go out with. I'm going to have to. So, you mean dating multiple? Well, well, see, I don't know. That's how we look at it. We don't look. Why would you want to intentionally have a whole phase? I mean, no one intentional intentionally wants to have a whole phase. So who calls it your whole phase? Your friends be like, "Oh, you and your whole phase." Yep. <laughs> be like, "Oh, so now, you, you so someone calls right you here. a hoe, don't be offended." Uh, nowadays, women aren't. Shit, shit. Nah, I- <laughs> <laughs> must be a thirteen. <laughs> These are other than grown women. No, you know, but hoes. if you do a, a grown woman, like a woman my age or older, if you do call her a hoe. I mean, well, no, no. How you gonna be in your whole face? A lot of women you know your better. age, a lot of women your age, will tell me, "Hey, date around, be a hoe, do what well, you." Well, that's want. not good advice. I, I mean, yeah, I'm, but a lot of it women. It sounds that liberating age. and freedom, but it does come with consequence. Because a woman can sleep with two men and be a hoe. Yeah, a man can sleep with a hundred women and be like, "Oh, he just play out there." Yeah, he just doing <laughs> his thing. He's doing his thing. You know? doing his thing. thing. A woman can sleep with one man and be considered a hoe. Now, I will because say because people base women's value off of who they date. Sometimes you well, I wouldn't say necessarily who you date, but who you are seen with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I've been I had someone tell me before that after the breakup, mm-hmm. she went into a whole phase. See, and I think oh, you got to pay for being a hoe too. Like huh? four, like I don't think it's free. Like you could just three free guys. Hold. It's like three guys in a month or something like that. Okay, is that a whole phase? You're single. Not hoe. Huh. Well, hey, listen, I just I, I just tell you what she called. Three, if we're on a date and them three guys show up, you a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> you a hoe. You a hoe. <laughs> you not a half yeah. hoe. Nah, you a hoe. Ho. We gonna spread you around like a cold. <laughs> Man, I ain't, I'm not with it. That could be another yeah. show. <laughs> that, that, that could be labeled toxic masculinity, dude, because that's, ah, nah, I ain't with it. Three, four? Who, yeah. who raised you? Like, yeah. Who, Wow. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? That's a whole another show. Well, the whole men, phase. well, men want to think they have something in a woman. And it does lessen your value the more men you've been with. Especially if I live here and I can account for 10 guys you've been with. In, in, my, in my radius. Yeah. Um, what about women? women? We look at that. And oh, a man you too. Got your old player. That's what you got. You got your old player right there. Like, no. That's good. No, no, no we don't. You don't want somebody everybody didn't have. You don't. So why would you purposely go out here and sleep with men and call it a whole phase? Because our whole phase is, is not what. Uh, first and foremost, whenever a woman leaves a relationship and she goes out and dates other men, she's not going to date men you know. She's not going to date who men around. Know, who do you know I don't know? And because men, we're we're gonna go outside of our own. No, they don't. Yes, we do. Holes don't have parameters. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Loose holes. No. Don't oh, have. so it's a difference between a regular hole and a loose hole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Because the whole phase is a different okay, type so, okay, of so definition. Okay, so the whole phase, the whole phase, you're saying should be outside of your circumference. You should see yeah. someone far away, not anyone that you. You might shot. travel for that. That's like, and this is real. So you might get flew out. Yep. (laughs) You might be taking on a whole vacation, you know, and when you get back, no one knows about it. It's not nobody's business. Oh, something that happened on, let's say you went to Miami for vacation on a girl's trip. And you don't got your back blown out for about two, three of them days. Yeah. That's that's, that's what you're That's a whole phase. Yeah. Like you went, you you got whoever was on your mind, off your mind. And okay. that's a part of our whole phase, though. Our whole phase, because like your whole phase getting a- out of a relationship after a relationship is different in your whole phase that you was in college. In college, so how many whole phases did you get? Me? Seven? Yeah. You awesome. That's a whole lot of whole phases. <laughs> that's a whole lot. You get like two whole phases. <laughs> no. Like, you no. Know, well, I say this: you get your reckless whole phase. Where so you know you were finding holes. your safe. It's loose reckless holes, holes, reckless holes. What's the other one? You just, re- just regular holes. Regular it's reckless oh. holes, loose holes, <laughs> and regular holes. Okay. This oh, hole? and we have the non-local hole. The non-local hole. Yes, the, non-local. What, I'm what, what telling y'all, it? that's the, a whole the, show. The, the traveling <laughs> hole. And that could be men or women. The correct? traveling yes, hole. Men okay. are women. Yes. And a lot of men are like that. <laughs> men aren't like what? Me, a lot of men are like what? Men aren't like that. We're just not used to women giving us that much attention, and then we sometimes over. Do it. Oh, 
It's not our intentions to sleep with that many women. Yeah, like it's not my intention to eat the whole cake. No, I just came here to get a slice. That's all. But if you offer me the whole, if I get offered the entire cake, I might have to. Yeah. Indulge. Yeah. And sometimes we indulge. Okay. I see. We're gonna move on. Okay. Yeah. What's uh, it's, I guess it's that what time. We to? What we moving to? Is it to? that time? Into dear knee. Yeah. Of course, I have a dear knee here. Okay. Are y'all prepared for this? I hope. I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see. We're gonna see now. I don't ever give them the dear knees before. Okay. Um, all right, See, so I'm about to be on this notepad real yeah, quick. Yeah, I want to keep the chicken scratch. The chicken scratch. Go ahead. Go ahead, Neek. All right, dear Neek. So, I just found out my boyfriend has been cheating on me again. I saw all the text messages and all the pictures that they have together, and my first thought were to post them on Facebook and embarrass them both because she knows about me and it's like she just didn't care. He stays the night at her house and all. He even took her out of town with him for work and told me I couldn't go because his co-workers were riding with him. So he didn't have the time to spend um, to spend with me. And they were all split in the gas money. I talked to him. He just sits there and says he's sorry. And it's not what I think it is. I really want to ask this woman and find out from her. My mother told me to just leave because I'm not married and you don't approach a woman about a man that doesn't have a ring on his finger. Should I call the girl? Because I really want to know why she would mess with my man that's in a relationship and be okay with it. I just want some type of understanding before I start addressing everybody. Sincerely, Confused. Okay, Miss Confused. You're not confused. You're You're not confused. confused. You're not in a relationship. That's the first thing. Um, secondly, you already know the answers to the questions you're asking. And if you don't believe that he is, it doesn't matter what someone says to you. If I believe you haven't been faithful to me, that's enough for me to break up with you right there. I don't have to have proof. This is what I'll say. At the very beginning, it says he cheated on me again. That's the line I was going to. After after that, I, I don't think everything anymore, else was irrelevant. Yeah, everything else she said. What after. you mean? You can't. I thought you said second chances. People. Yeah, but that, that's, no, the uh, that's, that's the second chance. That's the second chance. That's your second chance. Well, maybe he's in his whole face. Uh, then you need to remove face yourself. Two of his home. His you, home. you need to remove yourself if you're not happy. What? If you're not happy with his lifestyle and you're not going to accept this, and this is not what you're going to accept, remove yourself from the situation. You're not married, so why she being such a busybody trying to blow up that man's spot? If you're not happy, leave. Yeah, leave. That's what I had to explain her. Leave. Leave. Do don't approach nobody about anybody. You're not in the lane or place to approach anybody about somebody that does not belong to you. What? Well, but here's the thing, like. It, the the issue is your the issue is your the man that you're with mm-hmm. it's not the woman you yeah. know, at the end of the day it's not her like don't don't call her like you didn't call don't this drag man her into like, mess. You, she just want to be messy and his thing i caught him again again could be the second time or the third time or the fourth time wow. and ladies i'm going to let Whatever. you know wow. if your man is out here cheating on you constantly and you're you know and you accept that there are a whole bunch of other women that out there are watching you and watching that, and that's why they accept you because you accept what he gives you. So if your man is out here cheating with you, with cheating with women that know about you, it's because you've shown society that you're okay with this. So don't get mad when these women that you know know about you are dealing with your significant other because they look at it as so okay. It's her fault? No, I'm not saying it's her fault. But she's a reason? No, I'm not saying she's a reason. This is, if, if a man is showing you who he is and you're accepting it, mm-hmm. you can't be mad at everybody else. You can't be mad at these other women for doing what you have shown them you accept. So, the woman who is cheating with the guy, what are you going to get out of going to talk to him, her? God, that's you're not going to get that's anything because you're probably not going to believe you're what not they get, say. No, you're not going to believe what they say. You're going to hurt yourself more. You're dragging other people into your relationship, which is already messed what up. What relationship? It's not a relationship. There, there is no relationship. It's just it's just no somebody you're dealing with. It's not a relate. That's not how you relate to somebody else. Some people think because we're 
you know, we talked about being in a committed relation, and, and this is, and I have to tell women this all the time. Just because a man says he's in a committed relationship with you, and y'all have had a talk, if he is cheating on you, he does not respect you. Well, let me ask you a question. He doesn't respect the relationship. He's just talking. Is getting cheated on like a badge of honor of some sort? Like I forgave him. Like I don't understand why. Why I just don't understand how and why. If you can't deal with the cheating, mm-hmm. I don't understand how and why you try to deal with it, try to make sense out of it, try to fix it. Like you, I can't answer. I that left my you. man. Like what's? I, I can't answer that. Um, why, well, why she left or why she stayed? No, is it some kind of badge of honor to let somebody cheat on you and you forgive them? Because right. women seem no. to carry that banner kind of high this, for no reason. This is why. When a woman finds out that a man has cheated, mm-hmm. their first instant is, who did he cheat on me with? Because they got to see what type of woman that he cheated with. I don't think Once that's the see, first thing. Yeah, no, yes, it is. No. I've been cheated on, I know. No. <laughs> I'm going to tell, tell you what the first thing a woman thinks when she gets cheated let me on. Fi- let me finish. Okay. Once she finds out who this woman is, now she feels like, oh. He probably just wanted to just screw her, and then it's what's in what he's telling her as well. Like, oh, I didn't mean nothing. It was, it didn't mean anything. We were just friends. It happened, or she was throwing it at me. So now she's like, oh, that's just a loose female, and, and she's desperate for a man, and she can't have my man, and I'm not gonna leave him so she can, you know, have him. Like, no, he loves me. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here. She was just a mistake. So we like to feel superior over the other woman, and we're not gonna leave him. How are you superior when she has equal what you have? They don't look at it like that. Okay. I'm going to tell you the first thing. I did research on this need. Oh, you did? Yes. Yeah, research about, on it. It's about okay. 98%. 98%. Okay. Yes. Help me. Tell me about me. I'm not going to tell you about you, but I will tell you what a lot of women think mm-hmm. when they get cheated on. What? What's wrong with me? Absolutely. Don't disagree, Need. You said, where you at? No, I agree with that. That's the first that's, that's, thing. That's the, that's first the first thing they think. Like, what's they, wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? Yeah. What did, you want to see who it is because you want to see? Oh, that validates if she ugly. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, but yeah. But it's first, we have to find out who it is. Me. We no. have to find out who it is. First thought is what's wrong with me? Why wasn't I good enough? It's the first mm. thought women have when they get cheated. Uh, she can't know her worth then. <laughs> uh, uh, who, it's not a whole lot of. She doesn't know her worth. That she's even. If you have to question yourself after he cheats. Like what's wrong with me? Why? Now I see if he's cheating with the same woman over and over because I have asked my question myself that with a guy cheated with the same. I was younger, and he kept cheating with the same girl. Oh, y'all sister wives. That's yeah, cool. like after a while, like and I did call and all of this, wow. and she was like, at, at a certain point, she was like, "Well, this is who he is, and I'm not going nowhere." Oh, okay. So, so she stalled you out. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? So she was me. locked in. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she was locked in. <laughs> yeah. she, she she fought that whole. She yeah. got into that yeah. whole phase. Okay. So yeah, she was like, she embraced I, the whole phase. Well, she was like, this is who he is, and he's always been like this before you. So I don't know what you expected. I ain't going nowhere. We've been friends. We cool. We don't have no issues. Oh wow. So therefore, like I, I matter of fact, after that, I've never called her again. Well, you shouldn't. Yeah, I never called her again. So, so you and Miss Confused. Yeah, I'm glad y'all got out of this situation. <laughs> I hope she has a good resolve hey, in her I, situation. After she said he cheated on me again, that's what you was nothing. Done? Yeah, there was nothing else. Like he, you shouldn't even allow him to get that type of reaction out of you of you wanting to talk to any other woman or anything. Talk to him. And at this point, it's again y'all already didn't have that conversation. It's time for you to move on. Wow. Maybe these conversations women think they be having don't really work. <laughs> <laughs> well, that you gotta have a conversation with an action follow behind it. Hey, if and there's no action, that was the action. He showed you what he rather do. And I'm if talking the about the woman. If the conversation <laughs> and communication is off and it wasn't good, then it's time to move. On. Okay, I got it. Thank you. I got it. I'm happy you have it. Now. You happy you have it? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Sure. Hmm. Y'all stress me. Oh wow. <laughs> Has a fuss with y'all all the time. Mm. Oh. I thought we were just talking. Yeah, I thought so too, man. Mm. I, I'm that's a, what I thought. I'm a woman. <laughs> I mean, I'm over dramatic. <laughs> wow. At, at some point, need wow. some reinforcement. I don't know what we're gonna do for that because <laughs> she, uh, she, she over here holding the temples. 
And then she about to pass out. I don't okay. know what's going no, on. No, I don't. Like, y'all say things that really do push my buttons sometimes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'll just be like, yeah. okay, well, why did yes, you it really is. It's not yeah. you. Yeah. you see it. Nah. You'd be like, well, I, I mean, need the research. <laughs> that's, what, that's all he did. Is, that's I did the research. That's all we do is research. I went, through the, I went through those things so you don't have to go through them, man. No, he will say something like, oh, <laughs> well, see, we're, we were all here. Really? Yeah. So I just have to see here and be like, oh, you know wow. what? Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why you bring that in the past? <laughs> <laughs> Why you bring that in the past? Don't live in the past. Did yeah. I just have to sit here like, okay. <laughs> Don't okay. live in the past. All right, well, it looks like we're all ending it. Okay. <laughs> we're, in, we're all yeah, ending it. we're all ending it. It's ending. It's all, all ending it, okay. <laughs> the show's ending. Okay. Oh, yeah. Throw the credits. <laughs> and we're rolling the credits now. We waiting on you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Well, I thank you all for listening. <laughs> Come back to our next show. All right. Thank you. It's your girl, Neat Crew. C.L. Butler. And your boy, Yusef. Once again, we want to thank you for listening to the show. Go ahead and visit uh, www.defylifegear.com. Go ahead and cop that Relationship Status Podcast t-shirt. Support the show. Remember, you can catch us on GoDefyLife.com, iTunes, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and anywhere your favorite podcasts are played. If you'd like to leave a comment or a Dear Neek, make sure to email us at rsp at goldefylife.com. That is rsp at goldefylife.com. Uh, or hit us on our hotline, 843-310-8637. That's 843-310-8637. If, you don't, if, any, uh, if no one answers, go ahead and leave us a message. We'll make sure to get back at you. Uh, and follow us on all social media platforms at R-E-L-S-T-A-T Podcast. That's all social media platforms. The same thing. R-E-L-S-T-A-T Podcast. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and five-star rate. Also, give us a review. We haven't seen any reviews yet, y'all. We want to uh, get our reviews up. Um, also, you can follow Neek on IG, Twitter, uh, IG and Twitter at Neek Cruz and on Facebook at Neek Cruz. You can follow me on IG at Coach E underscore seven. I'm sorry, Coach underscore E17 on Facebook at Yoshi English and on Twitter at Coach E underscore 1724. And uh, you can follow CL at hashtag one washcloth. <laughs> <laughs> and we are out. Are you starving for comics? Do you covet the classics or the newest copies of our favorite comics? Ooh, that all-star Superman, Watchmen, and remember the Sandman? Heroes and Dragons can remedy that. They've been around for more than 30 years with the homegrown family atmosphere. Who's doing it like that? Marvel, DC, collectibles, toys, it doesn't matter. They have what you want. Go see them. Ask for York. Heroes and Dragons, located at 1807 Bush River Road, Columbia, South Carolina. Tell them to find life sent you.